1994, the World Population Summit in Cairo, Egypt, had 160 nations participate, where they all agreed that the human population was out of control and must be stopped because the world is running out of resources. An agreement was formed that would mandate the reduction of humans from 6 billion to 800 million by the year 2030. This meant finding a method or methods to wipe out nearly 95% of the population. Solutions were discovered, investigated, tested, then created, and have been in full force since. The procedures have been inflicted onto the human race are as follows. One, toxic levels of chemically enhanced fluoride have been secretly added to our drinking water over the last 20 years in every city and community on the planet. I personally oversaw the delivery of fluoride barrels to Denver, Chicago, Tampa, and Minneapolis water departments. The adverse effects of fluoride poisoning to the human body are numerous and debilitating. The effects to children is damage to their neurological development, among other serious ailments. Two, man-made viruses and diseases. The AIDS virus, which was a design and byproduct of the American Disease Institute, was distributed through vaccines to the public in 1980. Instituted as a preliminary population control tactic, the results were successful and led to more lab-produced viruses that have since been unleashed onto the public. Among those is the development of a mutated version of the common flu to replicate the 1918 influenza pandemic that killed 40 million people. The first strain of this new flu virus will be released to the public in late 2017. So if we see a flu outbreak in the late 2017 or early 2018 that's killing people, we'll know this is true. All right. Three, killing us from the air with neurotoxins, barium chloride, cancer microbes, and viruses by way of chemtrails, released into the skies daily over all inhabited regions by military aircrafts. The effects of these toxins are severe and over time lethal, causing respiratory ailments, cancer, damage to the immune systems, and sterilization in men. Since the chemtrail plan was implemented, sperm count in men has dropped nearly 50%. If this isn't reversed soon, the human race will face early extinction. Now the grand finale. This is some scary shit. In March 1997, an event known as the Phoenix Lights became the most infamous UFO sighting in history. A mile-wide vessel, clearly not man-made, flew slowly and silently over the state of Arizona and was witnessed by 10,000 people, including the governor of Arizona. To date, there has been no reasonable explanation. But for every witness interviewed, the craft was as real as anything they'd ever seen. Their lives were transformed. They now believe that we truly are not alone. However, there is another truth, for I know what they really saw. 1986, while stationed at an underground installation near Boulder, Colorado, I was introduced to Project Skybeam by Lieutenant General Andrew Garris. I was then led down a corridor and into a large hangar where a stealth bomber hovered only 20 feet above me. I stood there confused. Then Garris looked over me and smiled, then asked if I was certain of what I was seeing. I replied, of course. What else could it be? I was then shocked to find out that this wasn't a real craft. It was a projected hologram. Since the early 1950s, scientists had been developing holographic technology and over the years improved it to a state that we can only imagine. As I stood there staring at the bomber, which looked so absolutely real and solid that I could reach up and touch it, I contemplated the possibilities. What if this projection was a thousand feet up in the sky? How would anyone know that that was an illusion? The Phoenix Lights craft, witnessed by 10,000 people, was the first grand scale sky beam test upon the public. It succeeded beyond expectations. In October 1938, Orson Welles unleashed his War of the Worlds radio broadcast to the American public. 
were so realistically portrayed, vast portions of the population went into panic. Terrified citizens scrambled to evacuate their cities in droves. America had been easily tricked by very simple means. To amplify this response, those who are truly in power of not only our country, but all the countries on the planet, and who are the true purveyors of the depopulation process, have formulated the final stage of their sinister plan. In the year 2024, a global event will alter the course of mankind's future. The world will stand witness to a massive alien invasion. Thousands of projected holographic alien warships will blanket the skies, sending people into a global panic. Real military crafts within the holograms will inflict actual damage to the surrounding areas to sell the gimmick. And as a result of the ensuing human chaos, a one world government will immediately form without any resistance from the people. They will be the new world order. Once this happens, we as a people will be doomed to enslavement and accelerated depopulation. With that said, the only hope for human salvation is to acquire and spread the knowledge of these activities and agendas. Resist, retaliate, then conquer this imposing enemy. The time is now, as humanity is rapidly approaching